Hello there, I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we're late to the party, and Resident Evil has released their 4K Ultra HD collection from Sony. Sony's been thoughtful enough to include us on that mailing list, and we now are in possession of said collection. Yes, all of the movies in the Resident Evil franchise, all in one nifty little box. Let's get inside and see what else is in store for this ultimate collection, this definitive collection for the Resident Evil film franchise. So let's check that out. My name is Alice, and this is my story. The end of my story. So it comes in this nice, nifty little box, as he said before. You kind of open it up like so. And it's got all the movies in it. And it's got the little things talking about all the, all the other movies that are in the, the franchise here so you have some information just I, and it looks like it's just kind of like the back information and it tells you exactly what's on the special features and stuff like that too good because there's actually quite a few resident evil films to the point where i need a refresher on every single movie that's in this collection because it does kind of get jumbled i know the first one very well uh and that's it <laughs> i know the fact like, the first three but the other ones, I'm like, wait, when did this happen and which number was it? But that's a nice little refresher so I can go back and visit those moments that I do really like from the Resident Evil series. I always like the collection series, too, like when they all come in one. And sometimes I usually hold out until you can get the whole set because, right. you know, you want it in a whole set. Um, or if it's one that you just want to buy and then, you know, you can get the whole set again later. But here we go. So we've got the first Resident Evil movie. You got the nice Alice on the front. Mia, right. Mia Jogovic there, you know, kicking, looking badass. There we go. It's that very, very memorable outfit, the costume design uh, that we got in the first Resident Evil when it came to Alice. That dress. I mean, she kicked ass in that dress. And then all the stars team... All the star soldiers going down one by one. I mean, it was definitely uh, the opposite of what we were given in terms of costume design for everybody else uh, in that first film. So she stood out. She stood out brilliantly from the rest of the movie, and that's why she carried on forward all the way through the end. The good thing about these uh, these collections, too, or at least this collection, is that if you are in the transition of going from Blu-ray to 4K, but you don't have that 4K um, capability just yet to watch it that way, it also comes with the Blu-ray in here as well. The majority of... It looks like the majority of the special features are on the Blu-ray discs instead of the 4K discs. But at least you'll have the ability to watch it in bl on Blu-ray if you wanted to. If you do have the 4K, then you can do it that way as well. Multiple discs, different formats. Uh, it gets exhausting after a while. But the, the nice thing is being able to pop in the ultimate visually stunning version of the film you want to watch utilizing 4K. And then they also come out with the... The codes! The codes, the digital codes. The codes, well. of course. Yeah, so they're going to give us codes for each individual one. Uh, and moving on to Apocalypse. Apocalypse, that's where she gets a little bit more nitty-gritty, right? Going for uh, the Battle of Raccoon City. And, and this one's interesting, too, just in terms of the uh, the characters added to the story. It did feel completely different from the first movie for me, but it felt in line with, obviously, the game of Resident Evil 2, the game, you know, in Raccoon City, uh -huh. uh, just with that Alice spin. And then, of course, you know, having some more of the characters that you know from the game since Alice was a original for the movie and not the game itself. And then, of course, you got uh, Resident Evil Extinction. So this is kind of what it looks like, you know, her in a different outfit. And then in the inside, you have her again. I like the, the different color scheme that they have for each of them because it's true. They did have different color schemes between basically all of them. Right. Different environments, it reflected on the costumes, reflected on the characters, reflected on the story. And this one's very desert. I mean, you got Johnny Cage in there, too, making his return to cinematic splendor. 
But yeah, Johnny Cage, you've got uh, Las Vegas completely covered in desert. And then, yep. yeah, you've got the Umbrella Corporation doing some seedy things and, uh, you know, a crazy underground bunker. But it's uh, it's it's more fun to be had for that one when it comes to the characters meeting their end from two. So two into three and seeing who makes it and who doesn't uh, is the, the, the cool part of three where it kind of feels like a trilogy in that sense. Um, but at the same time, the story moves on. And then, of course, now, and then you have the the Resident Evil Afterlife, so it gets a little bit more color for this one. You have the, the iconic red going on, too, which is nice. I like this one. This one has one of my favorite scenes in all of Resident Evil. It's when they're at the prison, and they are in the shower, and they're going up against, like, one of the mini-bosses there, and basically the slow-mo and the water and everything, so I really do enjoy that that scene very much. And then the music tied to it, so yeah. that's kind of one of the very thing. When I think of this movie, I think of that scene. I think of Tig from Sons of Anarchy, because he's kind of the a-hole of the of the group um but yes this this is a very memorable one for me uh i really much very much enjoy this movie i saw it multiple times in the theaters because i was like that was actually fun and it was stylized in a way where it just it felt like we're going full action movie and that's the thing is the resident evil series in this movie is where to me it started feeling more like the fast and the furious style of storytelling And anybody who's a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious, you take that as a compliment. And that's what I'm trying to bring to the way I see Resident Evil and why I kept going every time it came out to the theater to watch it. It just adds something to it. It's ridiculous. It's over the top. They overindulge themselves with that action. That is for sure. But they have a style about it. And the music and that scene when she's running from the the zombies. In fact, I think that that's actually in the the sleeve. If you open up the sleeve of that video, uh, of that Blu-ray, her running from them when she jumps off and they all go off the edge. Uh, that's the same scene right there. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it was also getting into a, a story where you're getting more Wesker involved when it comes to the end of this story. And that's kind of a, a, a cool tale to tell from the games, bringing it into the movies at this point. And then having the next film be it, it connected in such a way where it's almost flawlessly connected right. uh, with the next Resident Evil film. Retribution. I the for this movie, I like the fact that they brought even more characters from the from the games right. into this one, and the fact that they are kind of at a facility uh, for you know them. It was like a research facility on trying to you know perfect the virus that has spread right. and make it better, and uh, that's what I like about that one. And then, uh, but yeah, now you got the purple. I like the purple for this because you got the red and the purple. You got some dark colors, which is great. I always like that. And then, of course, in the middle, you know, you have her. Recreating from number, well, end of one, um, but recreating that same shot because it was taking place. A lot of the, the, the repeat scenes that were taking place in Retribution is what made that movie fun. It's what made me want to go see it when you're like, we're bringing characters back that haven't been around since the first movie when it came to Michelle Rodriguez. Like, that was ballsy. Bringing Oded Fair back, I I would have expected you to do it, but to dip all the way back and get Michelle Rodriguez, uh, that was where it was like, okay, this is fun. This is where I'm enjoying myself, having a good time. Good final fight in that movie, too. Uh, and then the ending. That ending was such a bad uh, shot where they're on top of the White House just blasting everything. They're all working together. And to me, it did kind of uh, fizzle out. It, it was almost like after the star exploded, it turned into the desolate wasteland. And then when you're talking about bringing characters back that should have been in there sure. in a while, I think uh, they do You know, they do bring that those characters back like Allie Larder for the final chapter. We've come a long way with Alice and we've been through many nooks and crannies of this story and of this world. I know they're rebooting it. I know we're getting a new one. Um, But it's going to be exciting to see uh, the tale told from a different uh, point of view. I'm loving the the sleek design. I don't need a big, big box. A huge box to sit up on the shelf. Just give me my movies as, as slim as you can get it and let's put it through on the shelf. 
let's put it on the shelf. So um, I do like the compactability. I love that they have um, everything inside, everything individually in each case. I hate when it's like, oh, flip through all the books and you'll get through all the, the different DVDs. Like, yeah, separate it, keep it uh, single per movie because I may not want to watch all of them at one given time. And I may want to cherry pick through the Resident Evil series. So thank you very much, Sony. For sending this to us, it will go in our collection. We saw them in the theaters yes. when they came out, and now we have them on 4K. Now we can watch them whenever we want, or we can watch maybe one or two, depending on our mood. And this collection is available now, came out today, so you guys check out the uh, Resident Evil Definitive Final Collection. But thank you so much. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, tell their Instagram, start us. All the social networking, Jinjo and Tino, where they are, kick into the party, feel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Thank you so much, and as always... Now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye. <laughs>